Hey, Kevin Wicks for uh, www.primalpowertraining.com. I'm here at Big Steve Bellinger's gym, uh, and he runs old school barbell training. Of course I'm going to get that in there. Um, we're working with the 80 pound club. Uh, we were working on some uh, shoulder park squats uh, a couple weeks ago, and I got a lot of questions about what is sort of a next progression in uh, my training with this. And it's pretty simple, but uh, it's definitely effective. So this is what we, we have termed the uh, three-headed dragon squat. Uh, kind of to me it looks like three dragon heads. Oh well. <laughs> I've got my reasons for that. So simple enough. Regular clean over the shoulder. Squat. Then order squat and other shoulder squat so not a big modification but one that you're really going to feel uh, opens the hips in a different way and really works on uh, the front ab wall also the stabilization of the hands you're going to feel it right in here in the uh, elbow hollows. The, uh, the other question I got is the progression for the uh, club bell or club uh, outside pendulums. And for me, from going outside to outside, now we add outside to inside to outside to inside. So it's going to fall to the outside, come around, it's going to catch it in the same side, it's going to fall to the inside, it's going to come around, catch it on the opposite side, and then it's going to fall to the outside, no, yeah, outside, catch it on, same side, inside, catch it on the other side, you can go back and forth into infinity if you really want it to. Uh, a nice design setup for that. So with the 80, it looks a lot like this. It's brutal. I'm, I'm going to warn you. It's brutal. So, outside. Inside. Outside. Inside. Oh. That's how that looks like. Once you work on it enough, the novelty of this uh, wears off and uh, it becomes a true strongman's tool. A uh, very functional one at that. My next one is going to go back down to the bruiser level club, which is still a beast of a tool. Um, this one I'm getting into a lot more leverage based work with. Uh, one hand swings, I've done the one hand hammer, I've done a lot of stuff, now it's time for me to progress into levering. One of my favorite things to do with it, I just call it a waist lever. It's gonna look just like that. Levering it at the waist, taking it up, overhead, back down. Doesn't seem like much but you're going to feel it. My other thing I do with it, uh, something I came up with uh, that really, really has helped me out is it's going to be the same position from a lower, so it's going to look a lot like a squat. It's going to be down in this position. The club bell is going to be up. Don't let it touch the floor. It's going to be almost like a slow motion snatch. Just like that. So there's a couple of complexes to throw into your club work and uh, try out with some lighter clubs for levering.
Thanks.